Hey guys, Tune to Drift, and we're back with another video. Today we're finally doing the engine bay wiring harness on the Corolla. So, like in the previous video, we already did the carpet and interior wiring. The interior wiring basically pulled up a bit. So basically, once we get this engine bay wiring harness, we could just feed it through the firewall, and we should be straight and start getting ready to pull this uh, engine out. So, uh, but let's go ahead and do the fun part start disconnecting the engine bay wiring harness so pretty much on this side we already um we already went ahead and disconnected a lot of it so there's not too much on this side of the wiring harness to disconnect it's more towards the middle under and to the side of the engine that we're going to be doing most of the work um we're also going to go ahead and disconnect the body the body wiring harness that kind of wraps under this radiator support and then goes down but uh yeah so let's go ahead and do this stuff and then um let's get right into it all right so let's go ahead and start disconnecting wiring harness disconnect this part right here we'll start following it up and then get this one right here and now that we got most of this side disconnected like i already said we'll go ahead and move over to down here so already went ahead and started loosening this radiator hose so i took out the bracket and we'll go ahead and get this hose loose all right so now we can get the distributor uh cables to disconnect so basically you just press it and you should be able to pull it out there we go and then same with this one I'd be able to just press it. There we go. So the distributor is disconnected. So then we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, follow down. We're gonna go actually go ahead and follow down. All right, so there's one connector down there. You basically gotta push it, push the club down and then pull it. Won't be able to show you what, but that's how you do that one. But yeah, we basically got these connectors right here. So we'll go ahead and move to the side. All right, so basically we'll lift this electrical harness up. So we have more room. We'll just connect this ground right here. Disconnect this ground. Now we already got a lot of these electrical connections disconnected. Now we'll start moving to the fuel rail. So the fuel rail is gonna be the trickiest. So I'm gonna go ahead and start disconnecting the fuel rail um, hoses that connect into the fuel rail. Then we'll disconnect what's holding the fuel rail in. And then right now actually we'll go ahead and disconnect these uh, injector plugs, which are just pushing clips Then you pull up. Pretty, pretty easy. And then that one last one here. And that's it. And yeah, so I got those connectors out of the way. Then in the back, there's actually two 10 millimeter bolts that hold in the electrical harness bracket, which I already took out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Loosening the, the uh, loosening these bolts to take out the fuel, fuel rail. All right, so I got the fuel rail bolt out. I'm gonna go ahead and take out another bolt. So that first bolt was a 17 millimeter. That was a banjo bolt. And then there's another banjo bolt, which is a 12 millimeter. You gotta make sure you don't lose the washers. These. Yeah, 
right here. Sure, you got the banjo bolts out. Then I'm gonna get the fuel regulator bolt, which is two 10 millimeters. And now we got these three 12 mils. And then the fuel rail should be out. All right guys, so I already got out the bolts. Um, there was a banjo bolt here and here on the fuel rail. It was a 17 millimeter and 12 millimeter. Just make sure, I just made sure I didn't lose the spacers to them. So yeah, and then um, there's this fuel regulator over here on this side. As you can see, there's a fuel regulator and it's held in by two 10 millimeter bolts. I took them out and then I put the bolts back in. I should probably do the same thing with the banjo bolts so I don't lose them because I have a reputation for losing these bolts. So let's go ahead and yeah, I'm gonna screw in the banjo bolt. There's a 17 millimeter I'm screwing in. And then I'll put in that 12 millimeter. Okay, anywho, we're about to get it out. And, okay, me. Okay. All right, now we'll get these 12 millimeters, one, two, and three. So, I, already, I think I already broke loose this one, yeah. So then we'll break loose this one. And then we'll get this one broken loose. Okay, there we go. And then we'll get these. All right, and I'll do that one by hand because I don't think I'll be able to get it out. Man lagging. Okay. There we go. All right, got all these out. We should be able to get the fuel rail out now. We might not have enough clearance because of this, but hopefully we do. Let me move, put these bolts somewhere safe so I don't lose them. Okay, so we might have enough room to take out the fuel rail. Oh. We might be dead. Hold on. Let's wiggle this out. Let's get this keyboard out of the way. <gasps> Almost. I'm gonna lose some shit. Come on. Yeah, I'm doing it the lazy way because I really don't want to do other, a lot of other stuff like that. All right, we got the fuel rail out. Cool. Nice and nice. Nice and good. A lot of gas everywhere. But it's cool, you know. All right, so then we don't want to lose these either. What I'm gonna actually do is put them back on the engine and I'll put the bolts in. So we don't lose the bolts or those little spacer cap thing of Bob, so. So yeah. All right, so these were 12 millimeter, which two, ah, damn it. Okay, these were 12 millimeter bolts too. And look at that. Once I get this bolt in, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, look at that. All right, we got all the space for a wiring harness. So as you can see, the wiring harness is movable and accessible. Okay, so as you can see, there was this connector right here. We removed it. And now we have leeway and room. So this wiring harness goes down under, under the intake to go to a knock sensor. And it also goes down on the left to go to the alternator. But other than that, let's make sure there's no other connectors that we need to mess around with. Let's get this fuel regulator out of the way. Come on. Vacuum hose, okay. And yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this general area. We're gonna start digging down here and then go under the intake and get that. So let's do that. All right guys, so yeah, this is a, kind of a lot of work and hard to film 
But um, let me show you what I did do. So as you can see down there is the alternator, right? right? So I disconnected the connector to it and then there's a knock sensor that goes to the back on these small port engines and I disconnected that. That was pretty much it, uh, I disconnected down there. Oh, I lied, also disconnected the temperature sensor which is right there, that little gold finger above. Right there, I disconnected that. So yeah, got that all out, sorted it out. Let me turn off this flashlight. Um, so yeah, got this side all out. So it looks and feels cool. All right, so now we can start feeding this out. Look, look at that, look at that. See, we're starting to feed it out of this. So I'm gonna have to disconnect this EGR. One, two 12 millimeter bolts, I think. And then there's some down there. So I can feed this through. And then from there, looks like it goes you know over here where we disconnected then it goes to the firewall over there and then after the firewall it starts going over here let me give you a better visual of that so so like i said um here one second okay so it goes here all right disconnected then it goes to the firewall over there over here it goes over here goes to this fuse box you know then goes over here to the positive. Then it goes to the starter. Temperature sensors that we disconnected. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait, hold up. I think I actually, wow. Okay, just goes to the starter. And pretty much we'll have this wiring harness out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that starter cable that goes down there. It might be hard. I'll see if I can film it, but I'll also, I need to get out the CGR. So I'll get the CGR, get that starter cable, and then hopefully we should be actually having the wiring harness out. So let's, uh, let's do that. All right, guys, while I was struggling, um, <laughs> that one stupid wire, and I was like, oh, it's easy. Uh, I kind of forgot this, a little tricky. So um, I disconnected this distributor, disconnected the headers, they're 14 millimeter bolts, one, two, three, four, five, about five, probably could be live, but yeah. Then I'm just gonna drop the header. And I'm gonna take it off all the way, because I'm lazy. And then, uh, yeah, the cable goes right down there. Yes, yeah, see? So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that right now. All right, guys, so that last bolt or bolt connector is right here. So there's a connector and that's a bolt. So it looks like a 12 millimeter bolt and then a connector. And then that should be, I believe, almost the last connector to take out the engine bay wiring harness. So yeah, so let's go ahead and disconnect those and see where we're at. All right, guys, so we disconnected that uh, starter cable. And now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the EGR. All right. And then we'll go ahead and get that out. Get this buddy out of the way. Put those bolts over there. And boom. All right guys, so we pretty much disconnected the engine wiring harness. So uh, it's already disconnected. All we need to do is take disconnect this rubber hose so we can feed this part of the wiring harness out. And then um, basically all we gotta do is feed it through the firewall, either that way or this way. And then um, we gotta disconnect this, uh, separate the, the wiring harness from this fuse box too. So, cause it goes this way and it goes this way. So yeah, we're pretty much done. Pretty much got it loose and disconnected. And yeah, so another step in the right direction, guys. So um, next time we'll be feeding it through. But uh, yeah, all right, guys. So that's it for today. I'm gonna start packing up. But uh, yeah, hope you guys liked and this helped you out. Um, stay tuned and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.